The thing I do like about you, Johnny, and obviously it's not much, <laughs> but you do do a lot of research. And yep. preparing your digital bites every week, your newsletter, your analysis of the market, your summary of the market. Tell, tell our members, tell our viewers why you put so much effort into it. Because I do know you love it, even though it's hard. But why you do so much analysis, understanding the market before you publish digital bites? Well, first of all, um, the people that are subscribed to Digital Bytes, they want verified information that can be backed up and supported. So therefore, you can't just write your thoughts and feelings on, on, a, on a subject. So you have to go away and research and find out what are people are doing, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. And that leads you to read all sorts of publications, all sorts of magazines. So when you make a statement and say, IBM is the biggest tech company in the world, it says who? Or when they say that BP is the biggest petrochemical company, says who? Because regulated and professional companies need to have the information, the statistics and the quotes backed up with facts. And it also gives the ability, and in every article of Digital Bytes, you'll find there's at least a half a dozen web links whereby you can do more research and analysis and dig even deeper into the subject if that's what you're trying to do. So Digital Bytes is very much about analysis and thoughts. And it takes you 20 hours a week to do the analysis and, and do the research. And yep. now you've got thousands of subscribers all over the world. Yeah. What, what happens in those 20 hours? Are you, are you reading? Are you researching? Are you writing? What's happening in that time? Well, it's a combination of you'll, you'll see, you'll see, you'll read something, you'll, you'll listen to something on a podcast, and you think, now that sounds interesting. What implication could that have on that sector, on that particular market, on that economy? And then you try and look to see, well, is that correct or is there an alternative view? And who's supporting it? Who's engaged? So you're looking behind the information. Yeah, and, and how does it how is it going to impact in that area? And does it make sense? And can we then distill that in a way that people in a bite, and it's all around digital information, but in a in a in a small segment, no more than a thousand words, a lot of them are only four or five hundred words that people can say, Oh, okay, I hadn't thought of it like that before. 